Dave, who you got? I've got James Connor and I've got Gus Edwards. And I'm just I'm kind of lukewarm on Gus because he's never been, especially in PPR, he's never been great on a consistent basis. He's just an efficient running back that's going to get you right around nine to ten carries a week. And uh, you know, maybe that leads to 40, 50 yards. He can be a placeholder for you at running back. He's an okay zero RB target and someone that you can just grab in those later rounds just to have his bench depth and use in a pinch. And if he finds his way into the end zone, look, he was, he was actually great in short yardage situations last year, but JK Dobbins didn't miss from three yards or closer. He was 100% uh, when it came to scoring short yardage touchdowns. So I'm not sure if Gus is going to claim that role. They're going to split it. And I just, I feel like when it comes to just getting a running back that carries nominal value as a bench running back and has crazy high upside in the event that the starter in front of him misses time. He fits that he can do that. And it won't cost you much in a pick. Connor is probably in line to see maybe around a dozen carries a game, but if he's replacing Kenyon Drake, that means he's the North South runner in this offense should be in line for short yardage situations. He's also been good in short yardage and goal line carries over the balance of his career. He can catch the ball a little bit too. He's got a few seasons with over 30 receptions, but I I think that role will go to Chase Edmonds. There's a lot of talk about Chase Edmonds being the feature back in this offense. I think there's a reason why he hasn't really had that opportunity other than in spot starts over the last couple of seasons. He he will probably be, I I think it's going to end up being most weeks, like maybe 55, 45 in favor of Edmonds. But there will probably be some weeks where Arizona's got a lead and they'll hammer it with Connor. They seem to really like Connor for his downhill physical rushing style. And there will be touchdowns available to him. And you can get him in the late rounds. Another good zero RB target. I would see his ADP at 108th overall. Just surprised. It's round nine. Connor. But yeah, I just, that hasn't been the case in our drafts. I've been drafting him, but I know that he wouldn't last to round nine. <clears throat> At least I don't think he would. Would you guys rather have a Bills running back or James Conner? Connor. I think I'd feel better with, with Connor. I might have Moss ranked like one or two spots ahead of him right now. Mm-hmm. If, if there's a Bills running back that I feel comfortable with for the long term, obviously I'll take him ahead of Connor. But if I can't tell them between heads and tails, then maybe Connor's the right answer. Okay, how about in a PPR league, would you rather have James White or James Connor? Connor. I currently have White ahead. Let's compare Gus Edwards, who is one of Dave's running back sleepers, to Latavius Murray, who is one of Heath's running back sleepers. They had right around the same amount of carries last year. Murray had 146. Edwards had 144. Murray had 23 catches. Edwards had not even close to that, nine. No. Um, But Edwards was better. He scored. I think he was better, right? They were close, but I'm pretty sure he was a little bit better. In PPR points per game, Latavius was better. Latavius was at 8.1 and Gus was 7.4. Okay. Uh, Non-PPR, I believe Gus Edwards was better, but um, either way. uh, So, yeah, Gus Edwards or Latavius Murray, do you basically consider them to be the same? No, because I think that... uh, Difference in catches is a difference in value in a PPR league. So I prefer Latavius Murray because he's going to catch 15 or 20 more passes than Gus Edwards. And I think it's more likely if something happens to Alvin Kamara that Latavius Murray gets a workhorse role than it is for Gus Edwards. I think if something happens to J.K. Dobbins, then Gus Edwards is probably sharing with Justice Hill or Todd Gurley. Um, we'll see how that turns out but please don't um, don't even speak that into existence well you know we had we had the big deandre swift freak out over todd Gurley. we should have an equal one with jk dobbins um i just everything dave said about gus edwards is basically true about latavius murray he's slightly less efficient as a runner but he's going to catch 20 to 30 passes um he's a little bit better in that regard and we saw him run for 124 yards and two touchdowns without Kamara once last week. I mean, if, if, if something happens to Alvin Kamara in the first quarter of the season, Latavius Murray may have the highest win rate for any player in fantasy football this year. Mm-hmm. If these guys, if the starting running backs don't get hurt, I struggle with Murray. I mean, I, I think you probably would disagree, but I feel like they're kind of useless. 
I I really feel like Edwards and Murray are just handcuffs. Well, if you were in, if you were stuck one week, say you're running back, you've got Christian McCaffrey and he he misses a game. Okay, birth of a child, something like that. These are the two running backs on your bench. Say they both have solid matchups. Which one do you go with in a half PPR? You might lean yeah. Latavius just because of the, the receiving. I, but but I, the reason I'd go Edwards is is something that you don't know if it's going to translate. But I, you know, from year to year. But last year he had more than seven PPR fantasy points, which is not good. Gus Edwards had more than seven PPR fantasy points in nine games. And Latavius Murray had more than seven PPR fantasy points in five games. I mean, that's awful. You don't need somebody on your team who's got five games all year with more than seven PPR fantasy points. You just, you're just stat. He's a handcuff and a really good one at that. That's how I see it. Sure. They both are at the very least. Gus should be able to give you 50 yards a week. Yeah, right. But no catches, maybe one catch. He's averaged a half target more. per game over his career. And, and while Edwards did have a number of games with more than seven, he had almost none with more than nine. And you definitely want, I uh, guess look, if you're only a 14 team league and you're struggling at running back, you just want to throw someone in there to get you seven, eight points. It's not the worst thing in the world. Right. So who's but, more likely to score a touchdown in a given week? We don't know. I would say Edwards, but they both had about the same amount of touchdowns. Look, I think it's a gross percentage. I think it's going to be unlikely that they do it, but I think Edwards is probably a little more likely to score than Latavius. Latavius yeah. is, a, is a league winner if Alvin Kamara misses time. Yeah. Gus isn't quite, he quite doesn't have that type of upside. But he'd be, if, if J.K. Dobbins missed time, Gus would be pretty darn I good. I would assume, Lata are we just saying that because Drew Brees is gone, so the Saints aren't going to score as many touchdowns? I, I, my, you think that Gus Edwards, what that the Gus Edwards versus Latavius touchdown? My, thing? Just my assumption is, and I I don't know how many touchdowns. I mean, I'm looking right now. My assumption is that Latavius has scored at a higher rate than Gus Edwards. I mean, not last year. Edwards had six, and Murray had four. Okay, well, and that's rushing. I'm not even sure if I'm not even sure if Latavius Murray had enough like short yardage carries to compare with Gus. Well, two years ago, Latavius had six and Gus had two. What, short yardage Touchdown. carries? Touchdowns. Over the sure. last two, two years, years Latavius ago. has 11 and Gus has eight. Last year, I, I Gus was four were, for six from a yard out. But I think two years ago, you know, that was the year that Camara got banged up and missed some time. So I think you'd have to look at how many he scored when Camara was playing and how... and. Edwards has never really had that opportunity. Well, he did a little bit, right? He had one or two games this past year where he was the guy. Or am I wrong about that? No, I think that's right. And he had 2018 when Lamar Jackson was the starter. He had like eight games as the guy, basically. And he scored two touchdowns. <laughs> so there you go. Look, these guys aren't great, but these are the types of running backs that are going to be staring you in the face when the James Connors of the world are off the board. This is round. This, these are the running backs in rounds nine plus. Let's see who else is in these rounds. I think all of mine were after round 10. Okay. All right. So let's go to like pick 120. We're looking at Jamal Williams, Gus Edwards, Devin Singletary, Madison, McKissick, Latavius, Kenneth Gainwell, Daryl Henderson, Philip Lindsay, Tariq Cohen. That's interesting. Uh, Rashad Penny, Chuba, Chuba Hubbard, James White. So you can make the case for a handful of guys in that list Bernard, Damian Williams, Ramondre Stevenson, Daryl Williams, Tevin Coleman. Tevin Coleman maybe has the best chance of being a starter. Yeah, he, he's a zero RB target for sure. 